Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm in Big Bend National Park in the very southern part of Texas, right next to the border of Mexico. And this park is mostly in the Chihuahuan Desert. But right behind me, there's an oak tree. You see, there are certain moist microclimates of these mountains and many other mountains of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico that are just a little bit wetter, where there's a little bit more rain. And in those places, you will find oak trees. But since these places are so rare and so far apart from one another, all of the oaks that live in these mountains are a very rare species. One of them is the gray oak, which is behind me. It's found in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and in northern Mexico. So it's not one of the more rare species. Even rarer than that is the lately folk Quercus tardifolia, which I have not seen yet. I'm going to keep my eyes open for it as I continue to walk through the park. Now, what this has to do with evolution is that these species are rare because they perhaps had a wider range in the past, but as the climate has gotten drier, these oaks have constricted their range until in some cases they're found only in a very tiny area. Or in the case of the gray oak behind me, a number of tiny areas scattered through several states. Now, as we continue to change the climate through the production of carbon dioxide leading to global warming, there's going to be more drought in the desert. As a matter of fact, you can see that this oak tree is half dead behind me, and that's largely as a result of the damage from the 2011 drought that hit this area. As this continues to occur, the oaks are going to become more and more rare, and perhaps some of them will become extinct. Some of the products of millions of years of evolution of course, extinction is a natural process. These oaks have been becoming more and more rare as time has passed. But we are accelerating the process by putting carbon dioxide into the air and causing what would normally be a thousand years worth of climate change to occur in only a hundred years and a hundred years of climate change to only occur within ten years. So we're speeding up this process faster than evolution might be able to produce new species of oaks. As a result, there's going to be, as a result of global warming, a net loss of species. And I fear that one of those species is the gray oak, which is right behind me here. This is Charles Darwin. Tally-ho, and amen. If I can get up from here.